Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is safe and well. Woodsy here. And today we're going to be looking at the Nike SB Dunk High Throw Skate. So, what is Throw Skate? Froskate was founded in 2019 in the Chicago area by Carly Thornton uh, and she basically wanted to make a safe space for BIPOC and uh, LGBTQ plus community. Um, they are very inclusive so basically anyone is welcome as long as you are all about love and no hate. So it's a safe community for people to gather and skate and they've done loads of events and I'm so glad that Nike SB has chosen them to do a collaboration because I love what they stand for and also they've done a great job with this SB. So let's look at the shoe but first let's look at the box. So the box, it is a striped Nike SB box. And on the label it states, Nike SB Dunk High Pro Quick Strike. This is white metallic gold, this is the UK 9, which is a US 10. I go true to size, my Nike true to size when it comes to the SB highs, and uh, that's what I've done with these, and they fit lovely. So, Looking at the shoe itself, there's quite a lot of details on the shoe. I'm going to try and be as quick as possible, but obviously, as I said, there's a lot to talk about. Um, it is a mirrored sort of um, colorway, so the left and right, um, the panels are opposites, but if you remove the paint, you will get the color that's on the other shoe on the colored panels anyway. And Nike SB have been doing the sort of wear away or tear away materials a lot. But I think this goes really well with this release and I will talk more about it when I go onto the panels, why they chose to have the wear away paint. So starting off with the bottom of the sole, translucent bottom of the soles and then you've got this sort of like colorful paint like splash pattern uh, on the backing of that. The left shoe has a teal Nike SB shield and the right shoe has a red Nike SB shield. Now that pattern is also on the insoles. Of course, this is a collaboration and Nike SB are great for doing nice insoles when they do collaborations most of the time. You've again got that really colorful pattern and all the colors are represented on the panels on the top of the shoe. And then also on the right, you've got Froskate, Nike SB and a little skateboard um, in that bubble font. I really like that bubble font. And then on the left insole, you've got this little um, heart character cruising along a skateboard. And then another little thing I've noticed, which isn't really relevant, but the little sponge bits at the back are gray instead of black. I've seen that before. Um, now, when it comes to the throw skate and that bubble font and the little characters, they did also do Nike SB sort of apparel with it, like hoodies and t-shirts, and I would have loved to have got a hoodie or a t-shirt because it looked really cool, especially with that character on it. But I think they were only released in America. So UK did not get them, which is a little bit disappointing, but they are really cool. So if you managed to pick them up, well done you and also our dot around pictures or I might have already dotted them around hopefully going on to the midsole you've got a bright white midsole with white stitching and then the, pretty much all the upper is leather and it is a really nice feeling leather quite a nice thickness to it a nice suppleness to it so you've got these white panels so you've got the white panels on the toe box behind the swoosh and around that cuff and that around that cuff it's a really nice soft supple leather and then the rest of the panels are these colorful panels that, as I said before, mirror each other. Now, they stated that they liked the wear away um, paint on this because it almost represents uh, your sort of progress or where you, you can sort of see where you've hit the grip tape and you can also position your foot differently if you feel like you're not hitting the right spot to do a certain pop or flick. And I think that goes really well with the concept and what these are actually for is an SB, it's a skateboard shoe. So I think that's really cool. 
and the fact that you have the opportunity to customize them how you want you can make both the left and right look exactly the same color or you could like chop and change or you can just like leave it as is it's just a lot of opportunities to customize and i love that and i would actually love to see someone put these patterns these little designs on the leather by rubbing it away so yeah if you do let me know and send me a picture on instagram because that'd be cool then to the first detail that I think really made these stand out to me. It's subtle details sometimes that make it a really great SB. And what they've done is instead of having your normal sort of like circle perforation or vent holes on the toe box, they've got little love hearts. Obviously it goes hand in hand with what they are trying to uh, portray in this shoe about love. And I think it looks fantastic. Very subtle detail but brilliant nonetheless. Then on the left shoe, behind the swooshes on these panels, you've got All Love embossed, uh, both on the outer panel and the inner panel. And then on the right shoe, you've got No Hate on the inner on the outer panel. It's embossed really well, even though it's a white leather, it really stands out. And it, it, when you get the shadowing hit it, it really, really does pop, even though it is not colored in or anything like that. It's just simply embossed. You've got black swooshes, on both the left and right shoe and then we get to my favorite part of the shoe which is the sock liner so a weird thing to say but yeah it's the sock liner because it's quilted it's a really nice quality quilted sock liner and also it doesn't just go around the hill it goes all the way forward to the front of the shoe so it just adds to that premium feel and I think it looks fantastic and it feels fantastic when you actually put your foot in it. Not only has it uh, around the sock liner and going towards the front of the shoe, you've also got it on the back of both the left and right tongue. So yeah, it's just really, really premium feeling and it looks absolutely superb. The left tongue on the front is your normal sort of like mesh sort of material. That is red with a lime piping around and then on the right shoe it's that sort of teal blue with the yellow piping the tongue tags on the left you've got fro skate uh, again in all the colors that's on the shoe in that bubble font and on the right shoe it's got all love no hate again with all the colors for it and it's almost like they've reversed the, the tongue tag so inside it says nike sb how it normally would be on the front and the color uh, goes with the um, sock liner color as well. So you've got teal on the left and then a red Nike SB on the right. All round, it's just all these little details that make it fantastic. And there's so many things that appeal to me personally because I really love when they do a quilted sock liner and I also love when they do metal aglets. So this comes with a teal lace and a red lace stock and then you get four laces spare so you get a lime green a yellow a black and then a white lace all of them have that um, gold metal aglet and it also they're all embossed on those aglets saying fro skate um, they stated when they was talking about the sort of like reasons behind the um, details on the shoe that it's because they like wearing gold jewelry and I think that goes fantastically. Again, it's such a nice little detail to know um, and it just makes it look that premium feel again. Now, the only thing I would say that annoyed me, not annoyed me, but I just, I would have liked the print uh, on the laces where it says all love, no hate to have been on both sides of the lace because when you lace it, you have the print and then you don't have the print then you have the print then you don't have the print. I've twisted the lace. It took a bit of time so that I've got the print all the way through when I lace them. But it just would have been a lot easier if it was both left and uh, both the, the front and the back of the lace. But it's a small detail. Um, I'm just being a bit picky because these are fantastic. I actually feel like these have sort of gone under the radar in some respects. They haven't been as sort of like immediately sold out as you would have thought they would have been. Uh, but I think that is because they are quite a bright colorway through. But anyone who didn't pick these up, uh, if you get the chance to pick these up, they are definitely worth picking up because they are such a premium uh, feel to them and look and they're absolutely fantastic. And what a good motto behind it about all love and no hate. You can't really go wrong with that. It's such a positive feel and it's again, 
all these sort of collaborations um, that Nike SB have been choosing have been really good and this is definitely one of the ones that's up there for me. Um, I am looking forward to as well the Why So Sad uh, Nike SB Dunk Low um, and also I'm looking for the Why So Sad, I think it's like a brawn high. Um, I'm also looking forward to the forced uh, SB Dunk Higher. I really, really like that as well. And of course, I'm looking forward to the Orange Lobsters that are releasing soon as well. I think all of those will be quite hard to get. Uh, I saw that the Orange Lobsters have almost like a similar tilt lace to these, uh, which is interesting. And yeah, all exciting uh, SBs coming up. And uh, yeah, so tell me what you think of these. Of course, I'm gonna to go to the on feet. I only done lace swaps. I didn't do any like different changes of fits because there's quite a few laces and it hurt my back laced in all of these shoes. So you've got all the laces, but unfortunately I didn't do any uh, sort of like trouser fits. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think of the shoe and uh, thank you for watching. It's Woodsy out.